hello friends today we are going to start with uh, one of the uh, very important chapter in the quantum mechanics that is uh, nothing but the simple harmonic oscillator and uh, we will study this uh, chapter in the one dimensional case only okay so uh, as uh, you must have been studied this uh, simple harmonic oscillator in uh, uh, classical mechanics as well so let's try to elaborate the uh, simple harmonic oscillator using the uh, quantum mechanics so the paradigm for the uh, classical harmonic oscillator is a mass and which is attached to a spring of the force constant k and this is a usual uh, thing which we have studied in the classical uh, mechanics right so the motion of that simple harmonic oscillator is governed by the hooke's law as we know that the within the elastic limit that the uh, Hooke's law is within the elastic limit, the uh, stress is directly proportional to the uh, uh, strain. So, F is equal to minus uh, Kx. Okay. So, now, uh, uh, here we are going to understand that the F is equal to minus Kx and just try to uh, equate it to the mass into acceleration and uh, define the acceleration uh, as uh, m d2 x by uh, dt is uh, square x is uh, considered ha as a uh, displacement one if we just try to so, uh, find out the solution corresponding to this uh, simple harmonic so, uh, sorry sing, second order differential equation in the x then we can get the solution corresponding to x of t is equal to a sin omega t plus b cos omega t two terms corresponding to the second order differential equation here we define the uh, term omega is equal to root k by m is the frequency of the uh, oscillation okay so if you just try to uh, understand that the potential energy corresponding to it is thing but the half uh, kx uh, square okay so and it uh, represents the uh, uh, graphically a uh, parabola this is something like okay, a uh, general uh, behavior of a particle performing uh, some motion and if you just try to consider the uh, uh, some part of that uh, motion uh, around uh, x0 and uh, the behavior of the particle looks to be the um, ideal uh, parabolic uh, path right but uh, there is uh, no such a kind of the uh, particle which can perform the uh, ideal uh, simple harmonic oscillations okay so now that uh, we will try to understand that the Taylor series expansion around that x0 and if we just uh, try to uh, expand the view of x uh, around the x0 and uh, just try to elaborate the it's a Taylor series expansion you will get the such a kind of the solution is a parabola okay or else uh, this can be represented with the uh, v of x v of x is equal to or approximately equal to uh, half v double dash uh, of x0 uh, into x minus x0 bracket square so this is something like the again a simple harmonic oscillator with an effective spring constant which is defined to be the v double dash of uh, x0 that's the, why the simple harmonic oscillator is so important virtually any oscillatory motion is approximately simple harmonic uh, as as long as the amplitude is quite small okay so this is uh, represented over here now and just we are studying, studying the quantum mechanics so uh, we'll try to uh, represent or try to solve the same uh, Schrodinger equation which is a uh, time independent in uh, here because we are dealing with the time independent potential here okay so now what is the uh, Schrodinger's time independent uh, uh, equation that is minus h cross square by 2m d2 psi by dx square uh, plus half m omega square x square psi of x is equal to e psi where uh, k is equal to m omega square so this is simple harmonic oscillator there are various methods to solve this uh, uh equation but uh, for the simple harmonic oscillator we'll uh, just add up the one of the method as nothing but the uh, algebraic method for the uh, solution this uh, second order differential equation of the schrodinger uh, equation okay so now let us rewrite this uh, above equation uh, in a more uh, suggestive form that which we required here that is 1 over 2m just take out the 1 over 2m common and then the uh, h cross upon i into d by d, d by dx and whole bracket square plus m omega x uh, bracket square into psi is equal to e psi so uh, 
yeah, let's uh, factorize the term in this uh, square bracket if uh, these were the numbers it would have been very easy uh, to factorize the terms uh, in the bracket but uh, what you, it could have been and that is u square plus v square is equal to u plus i v uh, plus u minus i v this is generally how we used to factorize the uh, u square plus v square or the a square plus b square can be uh, factorized in this manner as well right but However, uh, it's not uh, so simple because u and v are the operators here, okay, uh, operators in the sense that they are the observables, right. So, uh, as uh, we have seen uh, in the, our previous lectures as well, that the observables generally, in general, don't commute as uh, always. So, what we can have, the product between them uh, is not uh, always uh, equal, that is, if v is not equal to the uh, v u, right. So, uh, this is uh, why we can't just write down the uh, this uh, term in the square bracket as uh, such like this so just uh, uh, what we can say or uh, will just uh, invite us to take a look at the expression something like okay we define the term as a plus minus is to be defined as 1 over root 2a into bracket h cross upon uh, i d by dx plus minus i m omega x so plus stands upper sign uh, stands for the upper one plus to the plus and minus to the uh, minus over um, here okay so now uh, what we can have here is uh, nothing but the let's find to uh, find out the uh, product corresponding to the this a plus and uh, a minus okay so warning uh, here that operators can be slippery to work with uh, in abstract and uh, we are uh, bound to make the mistakes unless uh, we give them a test function so f of x to act on and at the end we can just uh, throw away the test function and you will uh, what we will get it is nothing but the uh, equation involving on the operators alone so in the present scene what we can have f of x is uh, considered as a test function which will be uh, um, uh, acting as a test function here and we will operate this operators on the uh, test function f of x so what here we are having uh, is nothing but the a minus a plus f of x is equal to 1 over uh, 2m 1 over 2m into uh, so a minus we are just uh, trying to define and then a plus just 1 over 2m h cross upon i d by dx minus i m omega x and then h cross upon i d by dx plus i m omega x and f of x is a uh, corresponding test function which is uh, used over here. So, what we can have 1 over uh, 2m is uh, just constant so we can just multiply the square, uh, uh, square root together so we will get the 1 over 2m here. So, 1 over 2m as it is then uh, what we can have just try to multiply inside the on the first side that is f of x inside then what we will get it uh, is uh, nothing but the h cross upon i df by dx plus i uh, m omega x into f. So, here uh, then uh, just try to multiply this together. So, uh, what we are getting is minus h cross square d2 f by dx square just multiply here. So, this term to this term and this term to this term again. So, m omega h cross uh, uh, into d by dx uh, x into f x into f just operate this operator on it minus m uh, h cross omega d f by uh, dx plus m omega bracket square into f so just try to uh, uh, again simplify this function or this uh, term then uh, what we can get it m h cross omega f just UV, use the uh, uv rule uh, of the and derivative over here and uh, rewrite the function so uh, the few terms will get cancelled out and what are the remaining terms which are uh, uh, given over here that is nothing but the 1 over 2m h cross upon i d by dx bracket square plus m omega x bracket square uh, plus m h cross omega into f of x why we have written this uh, term like this why because of the if we just look back to the our uh, Schrodinger equation in the some suggestive form in the earlier case that is nothing but 1 over 2 m uh, h cross upon i d by dx bracket square plus m omega x bracket square psi is equal to e psi so uh, this form also 
gives us the similar kind of the equation so what we can say we can replace this with the e h cross omega okay sorry e psi okay e psi it can be uh, replaced or as the other form uh, which we will get it so describing this test uh, okay uh, discarding this test function so we can conclude here a minus a plus is nothing but 1 over 2 m uh, into h cross upon i d by dx uh, whole bracket square plus m omega x bracket square plus h cross uh, half h cross omega just uh, multiply this 1 over 2 m inside you know what we can get it half h cross uh, omega over here just take this on the left hand side so what we can a minus uh, a plus uh, minus half h cross omega psi is equal to e psi so the for this whole term what we can just replace with the uh, e psi which we have seen in the earlier equation as well so uh, a minus a plus uh, minus half h plus omega psi is equal to e psi so you can just remember this term that is uh, a minus plus minus h cross omega psi a is equal to uh, e psi so also if we just try to uh, re, uh, find out the uh, another product that is a plus a minus a is equal to and this will give us the similar kind of the uh, equation or if you just follow the similar kind of the steps then uh, it will result as into the 1 by 2 m into h plus by i d by dx whole bracket square plus m omega square m omega x whole bracket square uh, minus half h cross omega so only the difference of the minus half h cross omega is here just try to add them uh, these uh, two equations that is a minus uh, a plus minus a plus a minus that will result us into the uh, h cross uh, omega and uh, the schrodinger equation uh, can also be uh, written as that is nothing but the schrodinger equation we are just trying to write down a plus a minus plus half h plus omega psi is equal to uh, e psi as well so what we can have plus minus plus sign and earlier it was that uh, the minus plus and uh, minus was the term okay so do remember uh, because most of the time you will get confused okay. so what is the crucial step we are here uh, here we are just going to uh, do it that is nothing but the we claim that if uh, uh, wave function satisfies the Schrodinger equation with the energy E okay from this also it looks same then a plus psi okay a plus psi uh, uh, satisfies the Schrodinger equation with the energy E plus h cross omega but let's try to we have just claiming here we'll try to prove it whether it is right or wrong okay th this is our claim it can be wrong or uh, right as well so let's uh, try to have the Schrodinger equation in this uh, a plus a minus format okay that is a plus a minus uh, plus uh, half h cross omega which is going to operate on the a plus psi so what you can have just multiply inside a plus so what we will get it a plus a minus a plus my plus half h cross omega a plus uh, which is operated on the psi so what we will get it a plus we will just take out away so this a plus will come out and this a here is only the constant one so what we can have the a plus will come out of so a minus because this is uh, taken on the left hand side okay so that's why we have taken this a plus not the, this a plus outside so this a minus a plus plus half h cross omega psi this is the uh, equation we got it and now if we just try to uh, consider this uh, that uh, what we are getting here is nothing but the a minus a plus minus half h cross uh, omega uh, psi so corresponding to this equation what we got it earlier one so uh, a plus as it is a minus a plus minus half h cross omega plus just rewrite the term rewrite them plus half h cross omega so what we can get it here this is a plus sign and it will remain the plus sign we are just making the some adjustment over here and uh, uh, try to uh, uh, rewrite the term in the some uh, more uh, easier form so uh, what here we got it is nothing but the uh, a plus which is you know this is nothing but the e psi and then the half h cross omega as it is so e psi plus h cross omega so psi will take will take out of and the uh, uh, what we can get it a plus is as it is so this is a is 
e a plus h cos omega is nothing but the some constant terms are there which is independent of the operator so it will go over there so what we will get it when we operated the a plus psi on the um, our schrodinger equation we got the corresponding eigenvalue as e plus h cos omega so our claim was correct so this is nothing but the quantum electro uh, dynamics similarly just by the same token we will try to operate uh, the a minus psi uh, on the solution uh, is a solution uh, with the energy uh, e minus h cos omega so what we can get again try to operate the our schrodinger equation uh, on the a minus psi and the energy corresponding to it is nothing but the e minus h cos uh, omega so here we define again that is a plus and a minus are nothing but the ladder operators because a plus, when we operated the schrodinger equation on the a plus psi we got the energy which is higher than the what it was earlier and when we have operated that on the a minus uh, a minus psi then the, we got the energy which is lower than the hot with the value of the h cross omega so what we can here we consider that that are the ladder operators so a plus is considered as a raising operator and a minus is considered as a lowering operator so uh, what I, it is just getting okay earlier it was uh, just something like this right so the energy corresponding to the one particular e right if it is operated with the a plus psi then we will get it the e plus h cross omega its energy and if any it was just operated with the a minus psi then we got the corresponding energy is e minus h cross uh, omega so we are just uh, forming the uh, ladder here okay uh, this was the one particular state where the there was a only wave function of the psi early then it was a minus psi if we just uh, try to find the uh, operate this multiple times we will reach to the lowest rung okay we will re re reach to the lowest rung and what will happen there will be the no more uh, rung will be available uh, so there will be any uh, no any states available for uh, to go in the lower form so the lowest rung was such that the when we will try to operate the a minus on that uh, function uh, then will result us into the zero okay so now uh, what we can have just try to uh, substitute the value of the a minus and uh, uh, for try to find out the corresponding wave function as well okay so a minus psi zero psi zero is unknown a minus we know so substitute the value of the a minus that is 1 over 2 pi uh, 1 over 2 m root square root 2 m into h cross upon i d psi zero by dx minus i omega x uh, psi zero is equal to zero so just rearrange the term in the differential form so solution to this differential uh, equation is uh, nothing but the um, psi uh, uh, zero of x uh, is equal to a zero e raised to minus m omega uh, upon 2 h cross x square so from this what we can have energy of the lowest rung is energy of the lowest rung over here it is uh, nothing but the mm, so this is the uh, wave function corresponding to the ground state okay we call it as a uh, ground state energy uh, wave function so from this the energy of the lowest rung is uh, nothing but the a plus uh, a minus plus half h cos uh, omega is psi zero uh, will give us the e zero uh, psi zero so what will happen psi zero which will operate on the uh, a minus so what i i can just elaborate here uh, this is nothing but the a plus a minus which is going to operate on this what happens that when the a minus operates on the psi zero will give result as into the zero so this is uh, zero and uh, the another term is the half h cross uh, omega psi zero is uh, equal to e zero psi zero so this goes to the zero so what we get at is e zero is equal to half h cross omega so the this is the energy corresponding to the uh, lowest rung this is the energy corresponding to the uh, lowest rung and we can call it as a, a ground state energy okay this is called as the ground state energy corresponding to that uh, uh, particular state that's the wave function is a uh, psi zero so we know the wave function as well as the energy corresponding to that uh, lowest uh, rung okay similarly we can have we can just uh, have the multiple on the that uh, psi zero if you just try to operate our uh, a plus operator then we can uh, find out the 
any uh, kind of the uh, rung or any kind of the state which is present in that uh, ladder so its corresponding wave function can be found out by psi n of x is equal to or nth rung uh, wave function can be found out as a psi n of x is equal to a n uh, which will be a plus will be operated n number of times on the given wave function that is uh, e raised to minus m omega m omega upon 2 h plus into x square so a n is the uh, normalization constant so e n is corresponding to the energy is nothing but the n plus half h plus omega so this is the energy of the simple harmonic oscillator thank you